Show me the scariest face I make when I'm angry. Your face gets really red. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tense up. Uh, yeah. yeah. And there tends to be throwing of stuff, angry <laughs> temper tantrums, high knees. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. And then followed by physical exertion. Yeah, definitely. I remember the last time we went to the beach. And like the guys are creating a lot of problems. And then I see you like this. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh my god. I would just say I turn feet red. I'm sorry, I'm gonna answer. I was that. gonna say you cry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think life is teaching us now? I don't think that either you and I really thought two months ago that you'll be able to leave and that other women were going to be able to leave because there were so many obstacles. Like there was no uh, embassy, there was no consulate, um, there was no passport, there was no money, there was like, no flight because of the coronavirus. I mean, like everything was made for you to be trapped in Lebanon for month and month. So you went from 15 being in a house to more than like 50 in like different <laughs> houses. That's how many girls like you picked up from the streets and brought to, to, your, to your house and gave care. And um, you never gave up. And, and I think that's the biggest lesson um, that we can take from it is really to, to believe in what we do and to really never give up. I think I think there is this message that's going about on social media by certain people that say if they don't exactly believe what you believe, cut them off. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'm I personally am trying to try. I fall into that trap sometimes, but I'm really trying hard not to. Yeah. And I don't. And I don't think people recognize that there's you know more to life than identity politics and. Just showing people, you know, love and caring and yeah. not being discriminatory is more important. Yeah, especially with, like, Facebook. I find it really hard sometimes, especially if, like, there, there's this one person on my Facebook who is very, like, open about the fact that she is conservative or they are conservative. And it's, like, hard because I don't want to be, like, like, we were friends way before. I don't want to be like, I'm cutting you off completely, but also I'm like, okay, like you clearly aren't understanding what these, like people who are talking back to you and saying like, hey, this seems a little bit off. Can we talk about this? And then she'll just like, they'll just completely um, get defensive and be like, that's not what I'm talking about. You know, like mm -hmm. you're not understanding me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, as much as I like love this person before, this person is clearly not in a, like able to understand that it's supposed to be a conversation. Mm. She's clearly like, okay, if you don't agree with me, then we're just not going to be friends. Like, I don't yeah. care what you think. You can defriend me if you want. And I'm like, that's just going too far. Cause clearly like they're trying to help you in understanding why some people believe the other way and you're just yeah. not listening to them. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think a lot of people, I think I, I fall in that. A lot too. Yeah. And I'm, I, but for me, I, I know specific. At it though. Yeah. I think I'm getting better. If this were to be our last conversation, what is something you never want me to forget? If this were our last conversation, Christopher. I would want you to know, holy, deep down in your soul, that you are the embodiment of the best person I have ever known. You accept me wholeheartedly um, without clarification. Um, and I don't admire anyone in this world as much as I admire you for your genuine personality and efforts and beliefs. And I love you. 
Well, I, I, I appreciate that. I, I can't, I, I, I can't express it uh, enough. Um, just the, that I feel, I really do feel the same way. And I, uh, I know that we've been saying that a lot today, but, uh, there are, you know, for me, what, what love is, love is, is, is having the desire to grow with somebody, um, or a pet or a job, whatever it might be. But, but love is this kind of desire for growth and, and, and growing. I think that, you know, over the last 14 years that we've known each other, um, I feel like I, at least in that time, I haven't grown with anybody as much as I've grown with you. You, you approach the world with so much, um, I don't know, kindness. And I, I think I, I just, I respect it so much and it really makes me love you. Bro. Thank you. Jaden here from The Skin Deep. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to have more meaningful conversations, please make sure to check out the Ann Relationship Card Game. You can find it at theskindeep.com slash shop. Thank you.